After World War I, there were controversy over French African colonist troops having children with German women while occupying the western part of Germany. The paper dubbed them as Ryland Bastards. Germany, like any other country, had struggled with the idea of blacks. But not just any blacks, but for foreigners invading their land, losing, replacing all German with immigrants. To combat this, in 1933, these Ryland bastards were hitting puberty, and Hitler wanted a pure ethnic Germany, not to be replaced its culture by said foreigners, communism, religion, etc. These Ryland bastards were to be forcibly sterilized, meaning they would no longer be able to have children. As well, mixed marriages became illegal. Around 600 to 800 were forcibly sterilized. This did not last too long. They were a small majority, and because of that, not even the citizens were bothered by their black neighbors. There were no segregations and treated generally the same as any other person, even being required by law, no matter what race, to join the Nazi youth in 1937. There were very rare instances of racism, such as name calling, but violence was mostly unheard of. They were also banned from playing jazz, which Henry Conwell describes best. The fundamentals of jazz are its signal path and rhythmic accents of the Negro. Their modernization is the work of the New York Jews, so jazz is Negro music seen through the eyes of the Jews, because being suspected as a Jew, end quote. Culture office, or government agency, was also forbidden. Only ethnic pure Germans could apply. A number of black people even served in the German military, along with their white comrades. That's not to say there were not any military divisions with mostly black troops in there. Like the African Corps, that was the German force in the African campaign. that recruited a lot of locals, but had equal amount of white Germans, or the Free Arabian Legion, which mostly consisted of Arabs, but as well recruited Africans. For comparison, I would like to point out that the Americans at the time had a strict laws for blacks in the military. There were segregations in the US, such as the 761st Tank Battalion, and the 452 second anti-aircraft artillery battalion. They wouldn't allow any mixed divisions since they viewed them as subhuman, but in the German military, they were a multicultural army. In saying that, I would like to remind you there were a lot more blacks in America compared to Germany at the time. There was so little of blacks that they didn't even consider them a problem. It's worth mentioning, some black American prisoners have said they were treated much better as a POW than in the US. Jesse Owens, the winner of the 1936 Olympics, described Hitler as a nice guy. There is a wide conspiracy that Hitler snubbed him because he was black. According to Jesse, Hitler shook his hand in private and carried a photo of that moment in his wallet for some time. Owens later said he was treated better in Germany than in America, where blacks were faced with segregations. But since it was never reported on, 
and this photo was never seen, it's hard to say if it even exists as well. If I missed anything, don't hesitate to let people know. I want to post this as accurately and informatively.